Wizard, I can categorically tell you that the best course that could ever have been made surrounding backtesting has just been made and dropped on Udemy. And no, this is not a course from myself. This is not a Crypto Wizards course. It's not a Sean course. This was made by the same guy who taught me most of what I know and knows a hundred times more. And yeah, I'm talking about Hudson and Thames. So these guys have got together from their research group. Jacques, who's my cousin, who you well know now on this channel, for those of you who don't know, Jacques taught me a lot of what I know. He looked at Crypto Wizards and said, do these 10 things. This will make it so much more valuable and useful to people. And so I have him to thank for a lot of the knowledge that it took to actually go and redesign a lot of that platform. So these guys have literally come out. This is their YouTube channel, if you don't know who they are, and dropped this course. There's no financial incentive to me to talk about this but there is a personal one. So just to give you a feel for what it's like actually going through the course, because it feels like, it's not like when you're doing a course, say I put together where you've got one instructor and they're just talking, 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 and they're taking you through all the lines. It's a very different sort of structure where you feel like you're in the room with the researchers. And so they're literally explaining, as they said, from first principles, how to think about backtest, like what is a terrible backtest? What is a good backtest? How to structure a backtest? How to make it as, you know, solid and robust as possible and also when not to use back tests. I don't think Jacques realizes this, but every now and then he just drops absolute gold. I won't play one of those clips now, but he just drops like, cause he has so much experience like with Citadel and all these big companies and he just drops stuff. And I'm like, I had no idea like it even worked that way. So yeah, I'll just play you a quick snippet anyway. The same more or less. And then the Kago is, um, yeah, <laughs> it's large, 29% uh, more or less versus what we had originally, uh, which was almost um, 10%. Um, so, yeah. Cool. So let's talk about this a little bit, right? So I, I want you always to have a sense of skepticism when you're building trading strategies. If you ever see an equity curve that looks like the one on the left, you've probably done something wrong. That should be your default. If something looks good, I've probably made a mistake. That's the way you need to think. Um, and the truth is, it's really hard to build trading strategies. Um, and so, you know, the reason you see this great p &L curve is because we're getting, we're getting the information to trade 24 hours before that information was available. And so this is what happens if you don't lag your signal when doing a vectorized backtest. I remember at one of the firms in my very, like very young career, um, you know, we were building strategies and we didn't know about this. And, you know, we saw these great PL curves and my boss was like, oh, so excited. And we're all going to retire and we're going to be rich trading Ether and, and Bitcoin. And um, no, it was just because we, we didn't lag. So if you find yourself getting super pumped and excited, no, stop, reflect, probably done something wrong. I probably will never make a course on backtesting unless it's a programming course because I can't beat this. Like this is the best and I'm really glad it's here because again, I'm learning a lot. And I know for you who follow this channel and want to learn some things that you're not seeing on the mainstream YouTube channels, this is going to be gold dust for you. I hope you like it. And until the next one, which by the way, I'm very excited about because I'm building something big in the DeFi space that I'm looking to test out with you guys. But until the next one, take care and talk soon.